This is Victor Campos, and now we're continuing with our e-commerce with WordPress installation. On our last video, we created a database where our WordPress files will live. So now we need to go back to where our WordPress web front end lives. So our address for that is localhost slash WordPress. This takes us back to this installation uh, screen but now that we've got a database we're ready to proceed so go ahead and click create a configuration file it needs to know a variety of items the database name which is WordPress the database username which is root there's no password the host which is localhost and a table prefix which will be default so let's go database name WordPress that's the name that we created on the previous video username the the username that we used to log in which was root password no password remove that and database host is localhost that's what we're running on our web server and prefix is fine submit everything seems to check out so run the install If it worked properly, we'll get this welcome screen where we need to start setting up some of the parameters for our WordPress uh, website, our e-commerce website. Site title. This can be whatever title of the site you are creating. I'm going to make my fictional Victor's Bakery. What's the username? This is different from what we saw a moment ago. This is what is the username you use to log into your WordPress site not your database. So I'm just going to make my Victor. Choose a password. Add an email address. And for the moment turn off this uh, allow search engines to index the site. We're not a live site online so we don't need search engines trying to index us. So go ahead and install. And wait a moment as it does a variety of database uh, tricks. Sets itself up there we go so we should have success username password click login now in the future when we come back localhost is where WAMP shows us our status slash WordPress is where regular people would be seeing the website and then slash WP dash login dot PHP is where we would be logging in so I'm going to log in with the username I made a moment ago and the password. You can select to remember me if you'd like. Log in. Once you log in, you'll get to the WordPress back end, the dashboard. This is where you can do uh, everything with WordPress. But as long as I'm here, it's working. I'll take a quick look at how it looks to regular people. At the top left, there's the name of your of your website. If you hover over, you can see visit site, so I will. That's what it looks like to everyone, very plain, not much here. When you want to go back to your dashboard, hover over the name of your site again, go back to dashboard. So we've got WordPress installed, and in our next video, we're going to take a quick overview of what we can do with WordPress.